What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and I'm joined once again by my buddy Cosmo. How's it going Cosmo? Whoa dude, I'm going to the bathroom here, what are you doing? I'm driving, rude. driving my field car. Get it? Get it? It's a, it's a field car? But anyways guys, today we've got something really cool. This is um, awesome. This is, this is actually possibly my new favorite creation in all of Scrap yep. Mechanic, but I can't take all the credit for it. Um, but this is in fact a bipedal piston walker. So. This wasn't really possible before with controllers very easily, and I'll show you a little bit later, but uh, a buddy of mine, good old Hawk, who's also one of the mods in my uh, streams, he um, he came up with this bipedal, well, not bipedal, but he came up with this sort of piston cat, I guess we'll call it. Yeah, I and, love it. And basically, he's got these legs made up of... of four pistons on each leg and they're just timed really simply with a controller and there's no steering or anything like that you can just sit in a seat and ride along but he showed me this because he was really excited with how how cool the kinematics of it worked and how it really looked like a human kind of leg walking you can see it's got the knee bending there and it's got the proper like sort of uh, ankle action and uh you know the proper leg movement and he, he said you know con can you try and make something out of this um, maybe make it with two legs. Khan, can you please use your logic to overcomplicate the crap out of this creation? Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much how it went. But it, it, you really wanted to see if we could make something bipedal and something that could turn. So I decided to make this bipedal walker. Now, so I, I used a very similar leg mechanism, obviously. The same kinematics, but I used different dimensions. So this is the leg set that I built. And uh, you can see there, we move very quick. It's like a puppy when you hold it above water. Yeah, and, it's and just it thinks it needs to swim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you can see all we've got here is a really simple alternating timer circuit, and, uh, and just a couple of gates which prevent the pistons from being on unless you've turned on the mechanism. So if we hook up this to a throttle, like a W converter, which we use by a piston, uh, then we can control that walking movement. And when you stop the walking movement, the legs will both go back to that rest position. And so. That's basically what I did. So you, you end up with a, a piston walker like this, and Cosmo's gonna get in his over there. And there's no stabilizers on this. I, there's none. There's two suspension pieces on the front, but those are to actually allow the ankle to bend up and down. Um, but there's no real infinite stabilizer, so it will fall over occasionally. But you can press W and it will walk like a normal yep. person. And it's just, it's amazing. I've never built too many walkers in Scrap Mechanic and all the ones I have have always been like multiple legs and oh, I, I tripped there. So when I was showing Scrap Man this design earlier, um, he actually asked me, couldn't you just do this all with controllers? Because, you know, you have a piston pushing a bearing and then you have another piston pushing a bearing. And he said, why can't you just rotate the bearing? And I think the reason why is a piston that's linear pushing on a bearing on an angle is actually causing that to not move at a constant speed. It moves at a variable speed. Whereas a controller and a, at a circular bearing moves at a constant speed. So this is the same setup where the two bearings that are being rotated by the pistons are actually being powered by a controller set to the same angle that the pistons go to and the pistons have been removed. And basically what will happen is you'll see because they move at a constant speed, first of all, it looks very robotic. And second of all, the legs can't get up fast enough from the bottom position because they don't have that sort of that leverage acting the same way a piston does. And, uh, and that's why the piston walker works. But basically what it does is each leg extends and retracts between two positions and uh, there's no there's no stabilizer, there's no weight being shifted back and forth. The momentum of the one leg being lifted up is enough to keep the creation up long enough. And as long as the toes don't catch there, you can walk forward. And then if you wanna walk left or right, um, all you need to do is hold left or right. And what happens is when that inner side foot pushes down, it rotates the inside foot. So you can see there we're turning left so every time that left foot touches down, it rotates it 30 degrees, and then we'll continue to slide. And of course, it doesn't turn very fast, and there, there is no We're in a collision course. Yo, oh no, we're good, bro. <laughs> but it's terrible with hills. Little bumps screw it up. All you demonstrate? Uh, yeah, I mean, we can try going into this hill. Usually it just kind of dances when it, when it hits a hill here. Let's see if we can... Look at me. See, I'm just like marching on the spot. We're going to the market. Going. <laughs> I'm trying to rock climb. Check yeah, it out. Yeah, no, you're gonna fall. Yeah, you're- Oh, I tripped. Yeah. When it shuts off, it does do something really cool, because when I first tried it, when it shut off, the legs were in two different positions, 
and it would always cause it to fall over. So what I did is I added a little bit of a memory bit that says when you sh turn off the W control and you let go of W, uh, extend both the legs out to the full position and then retract them. But you still have to time it because most of the time your forward momentum causes you to, to fall flat on your face. But let's see if we can do it here. We'll just time it. Oh, 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 so close. Ah, this is... So close. <laughs> military surplus right here. This is... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro, yeah, these are your... the uh, non-AI integrated units. <laughs> yeah, they're really fun to walk around in, though. After after I got it working, I honestly just sat there for like an hour just walking oh, this around. This is great. They're, they're so silly. Like, they're so impractical. And honestly, if you, like, build a loader facility on the flat terrain map, you could really have fun with these just walking around like a facility of some sort. Yeah, I should really put, like, a self-writing mechanism. The biggest problem with this build when you're trying to mimic the human body is, and when handling hills, is when you think about going up a set of stairs, your knee, when you go up the stairs, your knee, your upper knee, the one that goes up first, bends a lot more than your other one, right? You bend more and then you push out, but you don't pull out, push out to the full length, otherwise you would, you know, you'd, you'd fall backwards on one foot, right? So the problem with this is, every time the legs go up and down, they both have to go to the same start and end position. So when you go up or down a hill, the one leg pushes on the hill and then the other leg doesn't get anything, right? It just, or it gets too much and, and hits the ground on the toe. Man, I've got a good run here. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm following you. You're, you're I'm speedy, walking for though. a while now. I'm like turning, slaloming. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, you can't, uh, you can't really catch up though. And you can't speed them up. I tried that and it just gets too unpredictable. I mean, you could, I guess, add like some, oh, I just, I fell over. I saw that. Oh. <laughs> I tried turning in both directions at the oh. same time. No, uh, you, you screwed up there, bro. The thing is, with the way the turning works is uh, you have to make sure you only turn like a little bit at a time and you don't turn in one direction then quickly to the other because then your feet are too widespread, you know? And that causes you to just fall over. You just, it's 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 kind of a little bit of an art to get to used to walking with these things, but they're awesome. Like, you could make like a Star Wars, except the leg would be reversed. I really hope they don't change the whole pistons conflicting with blocks thing oh they said they would but if they do it's not a big deal because what you can do with that i know like right you're talking about the upper muscle right the bottom one does a little bit but the upper muscle does way more um yeah what you can do to fix that is i can extend the the hip like the thigh bone i don't know the femur i guess it would be called you oh yeah that's right extend it backwards and then go down and then go back forwards again and you can kind right. of make a little pocket for the piston to go in. it wouldn't look as cool that's for sure Nope, just um, going for a leisurely stroll. Yeah, just taking my mechanical legs out. Yup. Have you tried this in first person yet? It's pretty... Dude, you need a tea maker on this thing. A tea maker? Like a so coffee you can mug? like walk Oh and dude, just hold up, hold up. Okay, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can stop Throw here. Throw some mugs on here. Okay, yeah. hold on. Let's see. Oh, oh, I did it! I did it! Nice. <gasps> did you do it? No. Yeah, it's hard. You have to like perfectly time it. And I know someone's going to say, well, you should have built the timing in prop. Well, someone's definitely going to say it now, but no, uh, they're definitely gonna say I, I should have built in a timing system so that when you let go, it stops at the exact right time. Uh, but that would need a little bit more logic. And quite frankly, I was just like, who cares? It's fun. It's exciting. But overall, guys, uh, I'm really happy with this build and uh, I'm really, really digging it. So I am going to post the link to Hawk's build, of course, in the description of the video below. And I am going to post the link to this. Um, go check it out on the workshop. It's really, really fun. But again, uh, you know, stopping is kind of difficult and hills are... Oh, this hill's going <laughs> to... Uh, what are you doing? Hill 1, con oh, 0. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Well, that was that was great. But anyways, guys, this is uh this is definitely my new favorite build. You gotta go to the right, man. What are you doing? There's, this is the steep part. Go to the right. I'm helping oh. you. I'm helping you. This way, you won't fall backwards. Oh, you... Trust me. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you're, you're helping. Trust me. Like, I, you you're like dying, and my guy's dancing about it. He's like, yeah, you're dead, buddy. You're dead. Look at me go. Look at me. Oh, we're breakdancing, man. This is the breakdance competition. Oh yeah, totally. I think I think I'm winning. Look at this. Look at this. Look at those moves. Are you sure? I'm doing like one of those head spins. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you're spinning all right. <laughs> but anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below for these awesome, hilarious, silly walkers that like to fall over. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for some more awesome scrap mechanic stuff. I'm always looking for cool new things to do with pistons. And uh, Hawk, shout out to that guy once again for his awesome piston walker design. But uh, yeah, you're first. Yeah, that's not gonna work, dude. I think this hill's too steep. These things without stabilizers, they just they just dance. 
But anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time. Oh.